namaste to all of you and uh, greetings on this uh, very important day we are celebrating uh, netaji's uh, birth anniversary uh, this 23rd january while uh, netaji is a household name to all of us and when we were young whenever there is a competition of fancy dress competition everyone would love to take the uniform of netaji that's the most appealing um, figure we all imagine ourselves into that as young boys and students so this is a great event to celebrate and my compliments to the sanskriti foundation uh, for making this initiative and bringing all the young friends onto the call today and to share the experiences they have been doing or for the social good while we talk of social good unfortunately for the last 2 years uh, this corona pandemic has really pushed us back to the wall and we were not able to do what really we could do neither for the family nor for the society nor for the country i hope uh, uh, the vaccine the social distancing the mask wearing and also hopefully the milder variant which is currently prevailing is back to normal life very soon and we start doing all the activities what we want to do as uh, we are celebrating uh, this day uh, just to spend time with our young young college boys and girls uh, i thought this is apt to uh, recap uh, and see how our freedom fighters uh, during their young productive time they sacrificed their personal lives and jumped into the freedom movement and netaji was no exception if someone reads uh, netaji's profile uh, from his young age the way he left all his best education what he got and uh, through in initially indian national congress then he went on to start his own army and then he was the one who taught us the uh, life of uh, how to be victorious so how to make a uh, friendship with enemies enemy i think that's a great message one could take from netaji's life he realized that uh, how bad or how good uh, enemies enemy is it's good that initially we align with them and then see that we can really get rid of the colonial uh, rule in our country and his contributions are are always with us permanently while we lost him in a plane crash but his life his face his smile always uh, reminds uh, that he was the one who made us uh, free from the colonial style colonial life now coming back to some of the young boys and girls who are presenting their activities as youth i think an outstanding contribution and uh, we all know that uh, tomorrow is yours uh, and all these young boys and girls in the age groups of uh, 17 20 25 next 60 years 70 years you are going to be on this planet and this planet needs utmost care by all of us uh, with the name of industrial revolution and many other technologies we call the green revolution the white revolution the kind of revolutions we have done just to make sure that uh, we get all the materials required for the human life i think unfortunately some of the technologies were not so great and then today we are facing the challenge of global warming we see unusual seasons unusual rains unusual heat unusual cold we are uh, wor worrying about the how antarctica is melting sea levels are increasing so this is the time that we all as Uh, scientists researchers and citizens of the planet what is that we need to do we make sure that the planet is not harmed any more and how we can reverse the process we always talk of uh, whenever pandemic is there we have scientists who will work and get a vaccine for us or there are some researchers who get a drug for you but do we have a vaccine for global warming do we have a vaccine for uh, environmental changes climate change so i don't think you could just get work for one year and get a vaccine and uh, make the climate better it's a continuous effort and i think the kind of materials we use in our day to day life how we can really make sustainable planet so that next 500 years 1000 years or times coming ahead uh, this world remains as pe as peaceful and as best as it was yesterday today is not the best we all know that 20 years ago 30 years ago we were much better off environmentally today we talk of pollution in delhi pollution in bombay pollution in hyderabad the kind of diseases we get because of the poor air quality so it's all the responsibility of all of us including the friends on the call 
that while we create awareness amongst uh, the traffic awareness among the healthcare uh, swachh bharat i think we need to really create awareness on how and what are the measures we should take that environment is protected and today while we celebrate uh, netaji's uh, birth anniversary we all take a oath that we as individuals would play whatever little role we play but we also start educating the people who are abusing the planet then i think we will have a very safe future handing over to the next generation i'm sure people on the call may still be okay but their next generation will have all the challenges we never thought 40 years ago when uh, 55 years ago when i was born that in 2019 2020 a pandemic will come and we need to wear a mask uh, we cannot even breathe the air properly and we will run short of oxygens in the world uh, oxygen supplies in the world all this was unimagined uh, 50 years ago but unfortunately we faced that so we need to learn from this pandemic that how we will um, um, avoid the future pandemics so what are the measures we take how we will make sure that the relation between the animals and the human beings the interface is protected well we protect the forests we get the best immune system for all of us and immune system will be very good if your oxygen supplies are very good on the planet the water quality affordable health care so we have commitments uh, for sustainable development goals and india is committed to carbon neutrality our honorable prime minister government of india is very keen that everyone has access to the best health care so we all aspire towards that and i'm sure the youth on the call will become future scientists and uh, make sure that we really have very sustainable planet forever also on behalf of dst i would like to greet all of you and uh, uh, department of science and technology which i took charge a month ago there are many many programs for the youth uh, to do their activities for example we have inspire programs inspire manak then we have national innovation foundation so there are many programs under dst and also if you think uh, the youth on the call would like to have some support from the government of india uh, through dst please uh, do write to me or prasanna ji always access with all of us uh, he could write to me and will make sure that dst really works with all the youth next generation scientists to make sure that our dreams come true again prasanna ji thank you for this opportunity and uh, my apologies that uh, i could not really be part of this because of technical glitch thank you jai